Nolagen here at Belgard Bakery. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are doing our bakery review videos in New Orleans at Belgard Bakery on a travel search for the best food options in New Orleans, where we will sample some New Orleans pizza and other baked goods. Belgard Bakery is located in New Orleans at 8300 Apple Street, which is about 14 minutes and 5 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Belgard Bakery opened up in either 2012 or 2013, there's some conflicting information on their website, and it is named after the first recorded bakery in Louisiana, which was founded in 1722 by Francois Lamel in the New Orleans French Quarter. Belgard Bakery is noted for their baked goods and is very popular for their breads, while also offering pastries, cookies, pastas, flowers, pizza, and many other quality items. We continue our best food quest as first we feast with me through the New Orleans restaurants for the best New Orleans food at the best New Orleans restaurants. In our restaurant review videos, we show you the best food New Orleans has inside New Orleans' best restaurants. Now, I've had a lot of great bread from this bakery, and I also love to come here to get their really great single source flour and cornmeal. Now let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So when you walk in, you see they have quite a nice little selection of items. And it is a large space. This is a commercial bakery, but they do have this customer facing area right here where, hey, 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 they've got a little selection of some of our caffeinated beverages. Now we need to learn about their process. With world-class ingredients, freshly milled flour, and traditional methods, our bread is a testament to craftsmanship. All of our breads are made entirely by hand. There are no machines to do our work for us in the bakery. We have only our wrist, hands, and hearts. The mission, to connect community and ecology through gastronomy by committing to a standard of excellence with our breads and flours, we ensure the integrity of a full and circular value chain. We firmly believe in supporting and using identity-preserved ingredients. The mill, fresh, wholesome, and alive. Our stone milled flour is crafted on technology as old as civilization itself. Stone milling respects and preserves the integrity of whole grains. Grains, organic wheat, heirloom rye, durum, buckwheat, white wheat, bayou cora, corn grits, and corn meal. Then we have bread, pasta, pastry, coffee, grain, pizza, the coffee bar with drip 12 ounce coffee, 12 ounce cold brew, 12 ounce cafe au lait, espresso, Americano, cappuccino, latte, tea, hot or iced, and chai tea lattes. Then my favorite item here is their variety of uh, different breads, which I really do enjoy. They also have some t-shirts here if you really want to get a tourist item. They also have a fantastic selection of grains and other items here. The corn mill and corn grits are great, and the sweet has definitely had an increase in price, but it's also fantastic. They also have a selection of prepared goods and drinks right here, and then a whole nother selection of all manner of delicious items here. Go ahead and comment below and guess what you think some of these items are, and then we'll review the menu to see what you might have picked right. So <laughs> there's definitely some interesting looking items in here. So what do you think might be around in here? Ho, ho, ho. So, all sorts of wonderful, interesting looking things. So, we had a couple of types of fresh pasta, some salami, some cheese, and from Nova Gourmand, we have some cochon de lait presse, a pate rustique, pork roulettes. From Fishhawk, we had dill cured salmon, smoked trout dip, and then from Texas Olive Ranch, we had some olive oil and some garlic infused and fig infused balsamic. So, I picked out a bread and then I got some corn grits and corn meal from Bayou Cora. And now let's check out the holiday menu here. So we have pecan and honey galette de roy, chewy date pecan cookies, chocolate chip cookies, pimelo breton cookies, vegan gingerbread cookies, cranberry orange pull apart, brioche loaf, chocolate and fig sourdough batard, and everything epi. So here's my first snack. I'm going to kick things off with what would you guess this is? It certainly is a very interesting looking item. <laughs> Well, apple caramel croissant time. Look at this. Whoa. Wow, this is uh, quite a thing here. It's very caramely. Let's see if I can handle it. Mm. It's 
All right, there's a little uh, slice of apple in here, sort of like a croissant apple sandwich. Mmm. Definitely a very hearty croissant. So just like I totally destroyed this pastry, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now guess what these two monsters are? Comment below if you think you know. Time for some cookies. This is a uh, chewy date and pecan cookie. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm It's a uh, chocolate chip sesame seed cookie. Things very crumbly. It's uh, dropping seeds everywhere. <laughs> now it's pizza time. I've been waiting a long time to try this pizza, and this is the first time I've been able to do it. So, here's my margarita pizza. Yeah, Belgar Bakery margarita pizza. Needs more sauce, crust is good. Needs more sauce, needs more basil, needs more cheese. There were big spaces with no sauce and no cheese. I need sauce and cheese, I love it.
some areas of the pizza totally lacking cheese, not much sauce. Ah, you know, I gotta have more sauce. Big takeaway here is the crust is really fantastic. That's the uh, one good factor good crust. So, just like I've totally destroyed half of this pizza, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this margarita pizza. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So, the total for this visit was grits for $5, corn meal was $4, a margarita pizza was $17, and I got a Topo Chico for $2.50 and another bottle of water for $1.00 for a total with tip of $36.71. So thanks so much to everybody at Belgard Bakery for your fantastic bread. And thanks so much to everybody out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you so kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.